you, Monica. How you doing? Love you, baby girl. Also to you, Chrissy Bishop. And to you, Carmela. How you doing? Mm -hmm. And say what's up to my girl, J Blue. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Everything, everything, everything. Everything, yeah. We're having a good time here, y'all. We're excited about all that's going on and all that God is doing because God is certainly moving. Yes. And I'm telling you, I am happy about that because yes. I'm like, God, I need you to move. You know how you get in that mood and just say, I need you to move and I need you to move now, yes. God. You know, God, we're not rushing you, but Lord, just now. Do, now would be <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what Lady D's talking about. Every time I come. Um, here with her. She's always got something. She'll, oh, you know, we have something coming up. This. Oh, you know, we have something coming up. And I'm like, man. Wow, you're always doing something. I'm always doing something. You, you are. I gotta stay busy. Yes. That's what's going to make me stay here to I'm um, 100 years old. Yes. <laughs> always doing something. Yes. Always Keep the heart something. active. Keep the mind right. active. No dementia. <laughs> now Dom is here. None of that. That's right. Work all day, every day. Now, guys, you know you're tuned to Powerful Praise right here with your girl, the Golden Lady of Gospel. And today we are going to talk about some of life's lessons. Yes. yes. Life's lessons. Life's lessons. Because we all have had some of life's lessons. And if yes. you live to be any age, yes. you're going to have some of life's, life's lessons. lessons. And all of them may not be good. That's and true. And some might be good. And some you, you might say, oh, my goodness, I, how did I get out of that? Yes. But thank God for Jesus, because he got us yes. out of every yes. one of those life lessons. Yes, yes. And we're still not done because we still got more to go through. It's true. What would you say one of your most, um, the biggest life lesson that you had to learn on your own? Um, I can't necessarily go into specific details about what I was going through at that time mm -hmm. uh, because it's very personal to me. But I will say this, and this is um, not only for myself, but for everyone. Um, when I was going through um, a situation before it became a life lesson, I okay. was going through a challenge in my life. And, uh, you know, people always talk about, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's me, myself and I. And but in my world, I just knew I was. Um, I had everything. Okay. I knew I had everything. I thought I didn't need anything. Okay. But what I didn't, as I was going through my life lesson, uh, when a tragedy happened, I realized the life lesson I learned is you really don't need anyone. Okay. But God. Amen. Amen. And, you know, I'm not the most religious person as anybody that knows me, you know, sometimes um, I'm not where I supposed, I'm supposed to be. But this just goes for everyone. I don't care what walk of life you're in, what struggles you're going through, what color you are, what gender you are. It does not matter. We all go through challenges in our life. Yes. But the lesson that I learned when I was going through my tragedy was at the end, um, you have, number one, you always have to be equipped. Yes. On how to deal with a situation when you're going through. If you're not equipped, you will fall for anything. You will go crazy. Mm -hmm. You will think that um, um, you'll go crazy. You won't know how to handle it. You always go and ask other people for answers um, as far as what you're going through. Not realizing because you were not equipped to deal with a situation that mm -hmm. you're going through with mm -hmm. in your life. But one thing, when you're going through a situation in your life, never don't really tell too many people about it. Go research and look what you can do in order to make that situation better in your life. Mm -hmm. But you have to be always positive. You have to be positive even when it looks grim. You right. always have to stay positive because when you go through it and you reflect on the situation you went through, mm -hmm. sometimes you wish you're like, man, if I had to just stay positive. Right. You know, I right. said some things I shouldn't have said because I was going through. Yes. It's better to stay quiet. Quiet and to stay pr in prayer. Yes. I, I I don't care what you're going through. Because you a lot of times you, when you're in that state of mind, you say things that you really, really don't mean. Right. And once they are said, you can't take it back. That's it. You can't take it back because true. you know um, you can when you've said it and you've hurt that person yes. or you know someone. You can, a lot of times those things that you say get people deep inside yes so if they touch them deep inside mm -hmm. that means that it's not going to be cured and especially not right away it it's could true. be years yes it's true. you know there are people walking around now mm -hmm. and i'm talking about even churches mm -hmm. walking around now 
the carrying things on inside yes. that they've been carrying for years for a long time. that other people have said other people have done mm-hmm. stuff that has happened to them and if you don't let those things go it's going to fester on the inside a lot of times people say wonder why um people get sick mm-hmm. people get sick because they carry around things that they should not be carrying right. around. right it's true and that's you gotta learn how to let stuff go I, you know like i said i cannot <laughs> Um, when I was going through, I just really wished I had been more proactive in my approach mm-hmm. with trying to help myself because at the end of the day, no one can make any decisions about my life, but me, right? Someone can give me advice and also surround yourself with a great support system yes. if you can, because sometimes people leave. Right. So this is why I say you really just got to be dependent on yourself and you really just have to be dependent on God, whether or not you lose your own place, whether or not you get in an accident, whether or not you have a child that's born with a disability, whether or not you um, gone through a bad relationship, whether or not you have um, you lost your home, whether or not, um, uh, you know, you've been diagnosed with cancer, yes. diabetes, all those things. Number one, you you really educate yourself on what you're going through Mm -hmm. in that situation. And you have to pray. Not only do you have to pray, but you have to educate yourself on how to overcome the situation. And then while you're going through the situation, always try to remain positive if it's necessary, because I'm going to tell you, your spirit does change. You say a lot of things you don't want to say because you're just hurting. Exactly. And that's why it's good to surround yourself with people who are understanding because they'll come and attack you too. Oh, that's why you're going through that situation Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. you did X, Y, Z. And it's never that. Sometimes that's not even the case. It's true. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's true. It's it's a way of life. Right. Life's lessons. It's situational. Mm -hmm. Situation that you have to go through to get through and you have to go through it. Yes. One way or the other, you You have have to to go go through through it. it. And you just want to be positive. I think one of my um, uh, deepest life lessons, one, just one, that I had to learn is, D, you cannot help everybody. You can't. You can't help everybody. And I would think because I am a nice person that everybody else is supposed to be nice too and they're supposed to treat me nice and they're supposed to do things like they're supposed to do them do them the right way it's true but that is not the case and I always used to think that because I'm nice that I could just fix this person up right I can I can make it work for them you know yes. because i'm nice yes. you know they're gonna do the right thing because people don't they're care gonna be around me and i'm a nice person right. and they want to be nice too absolutely but that is Does not, not always case. happen that way and it sure. took me many years to learn that i am not the one to fix people right that god is the Only one god that made them yes. and he's the one that has to fix them it's true you know because he had to fix me it's true so that was a tough lesson for me because i could not understand a lot of times why people did the things they did, it's you true. know, even to nice people and why nice people always go through the things that they go through. It's true. And you know what? I'm not, like, not only did I say you have to remain positive, but uh, everyone, you have to pray. Yes. Um, like I said, I've always been, when I went through this very tragic situation, the one thing I did not want to do is pray. I was despised by God. I despised him. And I was wondering why he allowed me to go through this situation. I blamed him a lot of for a lot of things. You know, and a lot of people <clears throat> a lot of people say, oh, you know, the devil's trying to get control. Look, negativity and the devil's always trying to come at you. It's just that sometimes it, he, you know, it, it's allowed and sometimes it's not. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, in order to have a very prosperous life, especially when you're going through situations, you really have to stay prayed up. You have to stay in love as much as possible. It's a fight mm-hmm. to stay positive. And it's, sometimes it's, it's not easy because you just want that. You want people to feel the same pain you do. And not only that, you think, right. oh, they don't really understand me. So exactly. why are they sitting here talking to me? Don't be negative even when you're going through. Because I was. Mm-hmm. Many times I was very negative during the situation. And sometimes I I, I, um, I um, collide with myself with trying yes. to, you know, um, deal with the way I was thinking back then and still have all these resentments that I should not have because I didn't look at things in the right way. But you just have to learn how to let go and be free. And um, and always remember, whatever you're going through, it will end. This too shall, shall pass. pass. Yes. It will yes. pass. So it's, just and, go through it. The, and another important thing is that it's sometimes, what about for the person that they're going through something? Mm-hmm. But they don't, they, they never pray. They don't know how to pray. 
They just know they're going through this terrible thing and they just need to get out of it, whatever way they can get out of it. For that person, for that person that's trying to hold on but don't, really don't know what to do. If they don't know anything else, just say, God help me. Just say, God help me. And not only that, too, um, it says you have to give give God a try. You you tried everything else. You don't know what to do. You know you tried your friends. You tried um, looking at these self help books, reading, listen to Joyce Myers and Oprah Winfrey, and that may not oh, be I the kid. I listen to Joyce all the time, but that may not be the help for That's you at right. that time. What have to happen? You have to pray for yourself. You have to sit down and pray. I said, what else can I do? I don't know what to do. Pray. Just get on your knees and pray and ask God. Say, God, I need help for this situation. I don't know. You know, he's so loving, you know, and so caring and he wants to help you. He wants to see you go through. And that's the thing. He wants to. A lot of people don't realize that God wants to help us. He wants, he us. wants us to come to him. And, yes. and the reason why a lot of times we don't get the help we need because mm-hmm. we go to all the wrong, wrong people. people. <laughs> yes. And we think these people can help. And they can't. You know, and, and you're my you're my best friend. I know you can help me out. Right. You know, and I know you're going to. Can you help me out this situation? And it seems like. They always say no. Yes. And it's like, God, yeah, but why are they saying yes. no? Yes. You know, that's my friend. Why would they say no? Right. Because he, they have to say no. Yes. Because he wants you to know there, you cannot depend on, on and the anyone. Bible tells you, you can't depend, depend on nobody but, but Almighty God. That's true. And from very young ages, even children, you mm-hmm. need to teach your children that. There is no one they can depend on. And when mommy's not there and daddy's not there and they might be out there by themselves mm-hmm. or in a situation, the God is the only person that he's, they can the depend only person. on. He's the only one that you can go to and talk to about your business. Right. And you don't have to worry about 25 other people talking about your business out in the street. It's true. You know, or it's this one. Guess what? I heard girl or I heard guy or I heard. Hey, dude, did you hear this? You know, yes. did y'all hear about this? You can talk to him about any situation that you have. Yes. And he's your only true advocate. Exactly. You know, you know, people, you know, there's a song back in the day, looking for love in all the wrong places, but looking for help in all the wrong places. Yes. You know, I'm trying to tell you, like, I've been there. I've been, and anyone who knows me knows that I've been through a very traumatic situation. Or maybe you don't know me, but I have been through very traumatic Mm -hmm. situations. But the only thing, advice I can tell you, it is only nothing but God. When I learned how to give up instead of stop trying to control the situations, trying to, you know, make it the way I wanted to be, trying to get the outcome that I wanted. It didn't work. Because we always trying to fix stuff. We always trying to fix it. But when I decided to give up and say, pray, you know what? I don't know what else to do. And I just gave up. And I just said, God, you have to handle it because I can't. And I was willing to lose everything I had, you know, because not trying to fix things myself. But when I did that, he came in. Right. So you really got to just let go. Oh, my God. Amen. Let him handle the situation. Amen. Stay prayed up. Keep that communication with him. I want to say hello to you, Pam Williams. How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Ron Colson, my ace boom coon. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah. Also to you, Myrtle, and to everybody that's tuning in right now. Thank you guys so much. Thank we you. love you. We hope Sylvia you- and Sonia, Michael, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we hope that you are enjoying the conversation. It yes. is called inspirational tips on making you a better you yeah. and i'm telling you if you have taken all the things that you've heard from last december up until now and applied them to your life yes. r- or even written them down and so you can go back to them at a later time mm-hmm. i guarantee that by the end of december you will not be the same person yeah, you will change. be a different person change. and your life will it should have changed yes it should have Cause you can't, like they say, you can't keep on drinking milk, 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 milk. <laughs> Babies can't keep drinking milk. Eventually, they want some food. They it want some mashed potatoes. They want that gravy. Mm, yes, <laughs> on to the next level. You have to grow. Continue to grow in life. Deborah Dozier, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you so much, and we appreciate you guys. Let us know how you feel, and you know, just email, text us, and let, and just let us know what you think about. Those inspirational tips on yes. making you a Thank better you, you for 2016 hey, because that's what we need. And this that's what this radio station is all about, yes. about helping you to become a, a better, better person, you. A yes. better you. God bless. Take care. Don't forget, coming up in the next hour, we're going to be giving away.